they're not just one thing. They're a mechanical package, optics, uh, hardware. We're running a web server on board. Our sensors just do more inside them than anyone else. The models can range from 30 millimeters field view all the way to one and a half meter. In a very compact form factor, all in one within one sensor, not only generate the 3D data, but also decide for the users whether that part is good or not and where their defects are. The GoCater was, was first of its kind in, in so many ways. The web interface really helped build the, the concept of ease of use that was really emerging around sort of the, the, the late 2000s. We went from having to write 200 page user manuals to a one page quick start guide that allowed a user to configure their computer, connect to the web interface, and then from there it was self-explanatory. I think with around three hours of training, I was able to use the sensor, measure something myself, use the software that's on the sensor. We try to separate ourselves from just being a 3D sensor data generator. We put a lot of effort in the user experience so that the users can configure our sensors, can apply our technologies very, very quickly into the market. Fundamentally, all of our sensors are triangulating. Camera here, light there, object there. That's a triangle. As we all remember, you know the angles, you know the lengths, you can figure everything else out about the triangle. You just need to know two angles and one length. Historically, we started in 3D, which really began with distance gauges. So they're really just uh, single point measurement devices. From a single point became a line, which became structured light. The fringe projection is really a way to measure something that's stationary. You actually project patterns of light on it, look at it with multiple cameras. And from that, you quickly build a 3D map. And that's good for objects that might be sitting in a fixture, or sometimes these are mounted on robot arms that's looking at a larger object, but there's maybe four or five key points that you want to measure. And that robot moves over, scans, moves over, scans. And that's really where the snapshot technology really comes into play. Robots and machine vision are complementary technologies. The camera is like our eyes, and then the computer is like our brain. The robot is like our hands. And together, all of those pieces are able to do really complex tasks. From red to blue to rainbows. Instead of using monochromatic laser light, it uses white LED light that gets run through a series of lenses, spreads it into the full spectrum. Once you get down to some microns level, particularly on very difficult materials like glass, you need a different level of accuracy. That's what LCI technologies can provide. We can extract information not only from a single surface, but now can also extract it from multiple surfaces. We can leverage uh, LMI's onboard capabilities to pair multiple sensors together. And this is very valuable when you want to cover a larger field of view or a larger object while still maintaining high resolution, high quality data. LMI is definitely in the AI game. You can now use essentially data sets to, to train the system or to have even the system train itself in terms of what's normal and what's abnormal. You don't tell AI what are the parameters. It figures out what are all the parameters. It produces, through the training process, a machine that can take noisy, hard to process data as input and can just spit out decisions. And that's what we're working on right now. Finding ways to leverage AI to make our existing tools way better than they ever were. It comes down to sensors not only getting more accurate and faster, but getting smarter, adding more and more intelligence. The technology of the three sensors is growing and 3 market is also growing. We are always developing something new to fit into a new marketplace. Constantly evolving our technology, constantly changing our technology. Nothing is the same. We don't do the same thing day in and day out. The consumer electronics market in China has grown rapidly in the past years, which has facilitated intense demands for the 3D sensors. I think what LMI is trying to do is not just sell the products only, but we are trying to help our customers to solve their problem more efficiently through the built-in smart tools, as well as the professional sales and application engineering team. We have a savvy technical sales team. That, I think, is what sets us apart from a lot of our competition. They really can go and talk the talk and know what they're talking about. LMI has people that love technology. You don't get many opportunities in engineering to work on something that has 
all aspects of engineering in it. I've been working with the same people for years and years and the level of knowledge over that time and the amount of different things we've tried. Every time you test something, you carry that knowledge forward. You know what works, what doesn't work. It all counts into the engineering. We get excited about, about creating good solutions. The average LMI salesperson has been in the industry for 10, 12 years. There's very few things that we haven't seen. When our guys are faced with a customer's issue that they're trying to solve, you can tap all this type of experience to really come with a, an elegant solution that gets the job done for the lowest cost. LMI's role is to make quality inspection and automation easy and accessible for everybody. We focus purely on 3D vision. You'll see the advancement in 3D technology growing rapidly due to the fact that this is purely what we focus on. So if you have a 3D application, LMI is a great partner to work with because we will continue to develop our solutions over time and work with you to make sure that you have what you need for your application. Thank you.